Hello and welcome to become a full stack developer. This is our eighth lecture. In this lecture, we will discuss the conditional structure. Sometimes it's called if, if else, or if else, if, nested if, whatever you want to pronounce this one. And uh, why we need actually if else? If else is nothing, it's considering that when we want to control the flow of our code. On, on the basis of some condition we use if else statement or we can simply use a if statement considering that like we have we have a plan for tomorrow and it totally depends on the weather either the weather is sunny then i will go for that if that is cloud weather is cloudy i will go for that so considering that the if else in this way so very simple uh, i have created two number number one and number two and uh, and I want to print that uh, uh, I want to just check that I want to just check that either number one is uh, greater than number two number one greater than number two uh, and we want to print that one uh, number one is greater that's it number one is greater so if you notice that i have used the operator this or uh, a greater than operator so in the python there is a lot of operators uh, uh, sometimes it's called a logical operator the first one is uh, the forward and uh, uh, it's called a greater and uh, less than operator or to check that either the greater than or equal to greater than and then equal sign or to check that uh, the less than less than operator and equal uh, less than and equal or to check that uh, uh, equal sign only suppose number one is equal to we use the double equal sign or to check that either this is not equal we can use a not operator inclination and uh, then the equal sign this is not operator so the if else statement works only all these operators or it, your if else statement because this statement these operators always return true or false so the if statement is works only all these operations that that are that are returning some true or false value so if operation or if statement works on only all the all the expression that are returned true or false so over here i'm just checking that if number one is greater than number two as i said we use a double equal so if you notice that over here i have added a some spaces so it is called indentations meaning white spaces in the addition mean white spacing so how much white space spaces should we need to add how many white spaces should we need to add it depends you can use only one white space like this here it is only one this is fine but in other language uh, we use a curly brackets like this way if this or then this as python is uh, uh, is free to to apply such kind of brackets or so we use the in indentation and here is another thing for that uh, colon the if statement or else statement the syntax is that if then your expression here is actually syntax if expression expression mean that always return you true or false then the colon then your statement statement of code so this is syntax for if else and same like for else else and then your code and uh, same this is only if else if you want to use a else if in the python we use the l if not else if in other language this is a proper uh, this is a proper a syntax or proper text uh, else if but in the python it is l if and then your exp your expression I'm just writing it uh, okay expression and your uh, statement of code so very simple why we need uh, what actually the purpose of all these 
if statement is work if the condition true right and why we need a else if either this will also check the conditions so considering that if our first condition is not fulfilling or if the first condition is uh, is not matched then we want to check that this way like maybe this is this could be true then we will use else if if nothing is true in all the if else we can add multiple else if else or else if like this way sorry this will become a nested if else this way when nothing is find here nothing uh, none of code from all of these statements is executed then else code or uh, else statement will execute so let, let me actually show you the proper in, in in a proper way we want to check that uh, if number one greater than number two and uh, then here the colon we want to print that print number one is greater than number two You can check that here is the number one greater than two and else we can say that uh, number one number two is greater than number one right how we handle that uh, let me actually run this one how we handle that if number one is equal to number two we do not handle this condition we can we can work over here like we can use the or operator or something else so for that just for simplicity i'm using a elif elif number one is equal to number two print let me print the whole copy the whole print statement print both are equal or we can say the number one is equal to number two let me make the both equal you can see that it works line number one is equal to number two <clears throat> and suppose we, we, we want to print uh, uh, this something else in in a else statement like we want to implement a some another if else statement inside the if statement or inside the else if statement that is called a nested statement or nested uh, if else structure so it is very simple we will go to uh, the indentation and we will write that if suppose we want to check that if one greater than two print you want to print this way one greater than two you have noticed that this print statement has a five in five spaces because this print is a statement or piece of code of the if statement the nested if statement so this is called the if else statement or conditional structure uh, Python do not allow us to implement a switch statement, which is another way that is uh, we call the substitute of uh, of the if else statement when we when we want when we want to check a lot of condition like uh, if this if this if this we have to in other language we we have to use a switch statement that is a good way to use a switch statement but in the Python uh, Python is not allowing us a switch as such switch statement but we can achieve the switch functionality with a different way like we can implement a lot of functions or we can implement a lot of if else statement or in some other way we can use a dictionary it totally depends on your logics so these are about to the condition structure in our next video we will discuss the uh, looping or iteration or sometimes it's called loop uh, and uh, then we will move to the functions so i hope so you guys will enjoy this video uh, if you have any question please let me know